Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be showing you guys basically the first page or um, kind of like the opening illustration to this sketchbook. Now I'm going to refer to this um, book as a sketchbook, though it is technically a notebook. Um, it's actually the one that I've designed for kind of like a brief run for a crowdfunding that Vogue Grace did a while back. And I'm just showing you guys kind of like the contents and showing you guys that I've actually started the sketchbook a little while ago. So I'm already in a few pages before doing the, I guess like the inside cover slash first page of the sketchbook. Um, if you're unfamiliar with how I approach my sketchbooks, I usually like having some kind of introduction page um, either on the inside cover or the first page of the sketchbook itself. Um, but because this is a notebook, it kind of has like um, a thicker manila kind of type paper before the actual kind of thinner paper that the notebook actually has. So I'm going to be painting with gouache for basically the whole illustration, but I'm going to go through the usual process. So I did the rough sketch in the pilot color Eno in the color red. I'm slowly losing my voice. <clears throat> um, but then I'm going to move into pencil work, which you can see I'm doing right now, which is kind of like the cleaner sketch. Now, a mistake that I did do in this um, is that the recording kind of just didn't record, so I didn't record the drawing of the flowers and the rest of Masaki's body. By the way, I'm drawing Masaki, who is my OC. He's basically my favorite OC, and I tend to draw him with flowers because he is a florist. Um, but the mistake that I did was that I didn't notice how uneven his eyes were before I started to pencil in um, the cleaner lines with the mechanical pencil that I'm just using like normal graphite. But I decided to move on and move into the coloring portion, which I like to lay down kind of like a wash or disestablishing any of the colors. And if I want to, I will establish like shadows and stuff with watercolor first. So that's what you guys are going to be seeing me do right now. Uh, I'm just basically using this kind of as a first pass to knock out a lot of the white as well as having a bit of an easier time for me to establish color and just like making things look a little bit more cohesive before I kind of commit with gouache um, because I'm not as familiar using gouache. I know I've used it quite a bit on this channel, but I still feel like very new to it, like very, I don't know, like beginner level still, I feel like compared to my gouache or not gouache, compared to my knowledge and usage of watercolor. And you're going to see a little bit later. I actually really like how I painted the flowers with watercolor, so I'm going to try my best to maintain that overall look with gouache. And for the most part, I actually like that part the most, so I'm going to struggle a little bit with Masaki, um, especially with his face. I'm going to try to tweak it as much as I can um, as the video goes on, but you can see that usually after I finish with the watercolor, I go straight in with the gouache. Um, so because gouache is more opaque, but um, I suck at getting the consistency like absolutely correct. So the watercolor also acts kind of like a little buffer so that I don't have like the blaring white. But in this case, it's kind of like a cream color, kind of like peeking through um, because I knocked out majority of that color of the page with the watercolor, which I definitely prefer to do if I can. I'm just glad that this paper actually accepts um, paint quite well. Um, but this paper, like I said, is a bit of more of like a cardstock or like manila-ish paper feeling kind of paper type compared to the notebook paper, which is much, much thinner. The overall color of the pages in the notebook is kind of like an off-white. It's kind of a little bit more warmer, slightly cream-ish, but still like white compared to this inside page. Um, I had an easier time painting on the left side because that is the back of the cover So there's no buckling or anything and there's a little bit more buckling on the right side because it's literally just the back of some kind of random page so Yeah, so that's pretty much about the process um, Let's do a little bit of catching up. I'm slowly. I think I know why I'm losing my voice um, I'm like kind of slowly coming down from the adrenaline rush that I have from watching Seventeen's concert. Today's Sunday, by the way. I recorded this footage like a while ago. Um, actually, how, how long ago was this? Do I even have my sketchbook here? 
Okay, let's see. I, mean, I don't know if I wrote the date of when I drew it. I can probably look at the thumbnailing. I did do thumbnailing for this so I could plan it out a little bit better. So I did the thumbnailing on the 7th, which is like three days after I started the sketchbook. So, oh, I actually labeled it at the corner. I started this illustration and finished it um, on the 9th of November. And as I'm doing the voice recording, it's actually the 14th. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like the night or the day after, or I guess it's like similar day to when the concert just finished. So I'm kind of like coming down from the adrenaline of it. I just want to draw 17 so dang much right now. So if the next few videos become 17 related, please don't hate me. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be a little awkward. I went on such a tangent and rambling session for the next like two minutes. So I decided to delete it and put this kind of filler voiceover in the middle. So if it doesn't make sense, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm gonna talk about something a little bit different and a little bit for this little segment. Um, I wanna build up a sketchbook habit again. So I'm trying my best to at least draw my sketchbook once every day, even if it's something small. I'm aiming for a page a day, but knowing myself because of the sketchbook size, I like it's like free headshots I could probably fit in. That's kind of like the size I'm working with. It's like basically A5 size, so it's not like super big. So I think it's much more manageable. So yeah, I'm not going to pressure myself to keep up the sketchbook habit, but I'm going to try to push for drawing every day, at least in my sketchbook, because I haven't done that in a long time. And I feel like me not sketching in my sketchbook kind of, I don't know. I feel like I've been drawing digitally a little bit too much. So taking a break and just sketching for myself and just sketching for fun in my sketchbook is just a little bit more freeing. And it kind of allows me to get a little bit ahead on pre-recording some of the videos for Monday's videos, which are the sketchbook doodles videos. So it's kind of a plus in both directions, but for the most part, I just want to take more time to sketch with pencil and stuff because that's what I've been really enjoying in this particular sketchbook for the most part, because the thin paper just accepts graphite so nicely and the way how I work. I just like how my sketches look on this paper. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I don't know how much I have to fill up for the rest of this audio, but I hopefully you guys are enjoying at least a little bit of my rambling and the painting portion. I actually really like painting his pants. I think, yeah, painting his pants was very fun and just the colors in general I really like, but that's that's why I like Masaki, if you haven't, if you couldn't tell. Um, but yeah, I think we'll get back into the normal voiceover now. I think it's fine. I don't know why I'm on this tangent, but um, as you can see, I mostly finished up Masaki's outfit. I had actually a lot of fun painting with his like dark teal color, turquoise-ish color of his outfit. Oh, I didn't explain the concept actually. Um, in my thumbnailing, I was thinking of who did I want to draw for the front cover this time or like the first page of the sketchbook because I kind of alternate from, well, I think I didn't alternate. Well, kind of did. I used to draw Wonu as my first page for quite a while. And then I switched to, I think, Masaki, the Masaki again. And then I switched to Wonu for the last sketchbook. So I didn't really want to do another 17 one quite yet because I was very nervous to butcher them so easily. So I wanted to draw my OC Masaki again, but I didn't want to do his normal attire. I kind of want to mix it up and make it a little bit more like a theme. Because one thing I really liked about my previous sketchbook was that the front and the back cover matched, um, which I haven't really done from previous sketchbooks. For previous sketchbooks, I would do like a hello and a goodbye page, and I would just have hello and goodbye somewhere on the cover or the back page or somewhere in the illustration to signify like the beginning and the end of the sketchbook. And even though I'm carrying that back into these ones, I want to make them themed because I think it's kind of cute um, having the back cover or back like the last page echo the first cover first page kind of thing. I think it's just really cute. Um, so I drew Masaki kind of more like a little bit more formal attire kind of like cafe butler-ish. I don't know how to explain it kind of attire like formal kind of like 
letting you into the sketchbook, but I botched it. I should have made him face the other way, so it looks like he's actually making you go towards to flip the page, but it looks like he's making you, or like gesturing to the outside of the sketchbook instead, which is the opposite effect, but that's, uh, that's okay. I still like the illustration for the most part. Um, but yeah, so for the flowers, I actually approach this a little bit differently. When I paint with gouache, I find that I really suck at blending colors really well, um, especially if they're like still wet. And my color mixing is very poor when it comes to kind of like this medium where it, if it dries out, um, it's hard to like reactivate as easily. So like stuff like oils, gouache, and acrylics, I find a little bit harder. But for watercolor, it's easy for me to transition colors a lot easier. And my mixing knowledge of diluting the water to get certain values and stuff is just much easier in watercolor for me, like for myself. So I decided to approach the flowers a little bit differently. I tried my best to mix values so I can easily transition them. I don't know if I show a sh like a close-up shot of the flowers, but I basically almost feel like I'm doing hatching of my brush strokes so that it's like kind of like vertical lines where where the petals direction like the directions of the petals are coming out of. So it kind of curves and it kind of has that shadow and the values. And then I go back in and use darker values to darken up like corners and like deeper areas to kind of make it pop a little bit. But I did do my best to keep all the colors like the same as how I had my watercolor washes because like I said I think I have a stronger foundation with watercolor so it was easier for me to feather out the colors from the center of like petals going outwards and making them look a little bit softer. I find that when I paint like flowers with gouache they look very chunky and blocky and heavy and I just I really want this to look very light very airy which is why i was worried about mixing the wrong values for this and i decided to take my time really work from light to dark this time because when i work dark to light that's when i find that i've covered too much of the detail and i become very lost i'm very drawing orientated in terms of like um, making illustrations or even painting i found this kind of like something difficult that I kind of need to improve on like this is something that I knew about since uni um, but I had more of an illustration or drawing background compared to painting it was hard for me to establish things via shape and value rather than lines and value so yeah I had to approach the flowers in a way that made sense to me which is working light to dark like as if I'm painting with pencil I guess if that makes sense because I love gradually building up tone and value from light to dark um, because I usually use like dry mediums so yeah I approached the flowers a little bit differently and I actually think it worked out quite well but it does take me a lot longer because I did each individual petal almost like one at a time while if you work general to specific you're kind of working on the whole flower at the same time and then eventually kind of refining it down which I like to work in the opposite. I love details, so if I can get the details much quicker, I will do that. And sometimes that's, I feel like that's like shooting myself in the foot and setting myself up for failure, but sometimes it works out. And luckily for this one, it kind of works out. By the way, the flowers that I'm drawing are peonies, or I'm attempting to make them look like peonies so that it matches the front covers of my peony sketchbook notebook. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint Masaki kind of as a a butler, I don't know, cafe waiter or something. Some kind of formal dude um, attire with flowers. And I think I'm going to mimic this to where it's the back as well. Show you guys some details. And I think I'm going to show you guys my thumbnails. But for now, I think I'm just going to go. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.